third of a second. Right hand grip it, hold on at the top, swing it through. Okay, now do that, but pull the ball off towards that golf ball that's sitting there in front of you. All right. Drive it left. Make it go left. Wonderful. After the, the ball. Wonderful. Well, you know what will happen if I do that is at my exit angle then you'll get more on my shoulder line instead of here. Yep. You'll stay on one plane much longer. Yeah, because now I'm here and underneath it. You got enough important tournaments coming up, it's not going to hurt to drive it down the line, accelerate. Do a, two a pull, wasn't it? Just a little bit. Two more and I I'll just drive it, you know, where you set up, drive it left. And I want you to get the visuals that your line is really a little more left than you really think it is. We're not hitting big fades anymore. Hit this, get all set up. Drive this thing a foot left of that ball in front of you. Drive it left. That feel wonderful? You see the divots you're taking now? Yeah. One more and I better go play golf. I'll tell you what another key to this is. Because I've got to make a little, little bigger move going back too. Right hand's hanging on. Drive it hard left. Beat the crap out of this. Did that feel really good to beat the crap out of one and see it really go well? Yeah. That makes sense. Because line to, for me to draw the ball, I've, I've had to work way too hard. Exactly. And it should be a very simple motion of just letting the arms flow through. We don't need the pulling of the body. Drive this thing left at that tree and fade it. Very good. Started left. It was, it was slightly pushed out straight. It didn't drive down the line to the left. Can you feel like Lee Trevino? A weak shot. Can you feel like Lee Trevino driving hard left towards that tree on the left? The worst case scenario is it goes straight. That's not a weak shot there. Well, that ball's not gonna, uh, Mark, that's got no distance to it. But the idea right now is you're starting to get driving down the line now. Once you start measuring, you know, if you want to fade the ball, that's how you fade the golf ball. Right, I agree. You're not getting underneath those. You're getting into this position right here at impact instead of that one. And what you're going to see is much stronger divots, no heavy divots. Drive it hard. And what you're going to see is your spectrum. You could almost hit every tee shot between these two trees left and right of the yellow flag. Is the body pretty much... The body's still overactive? No, I mean, so how, about, how, about the, how about the direction of the body? The setup is better. Before, every time you wanted to fade it, you, you would set up 40 degrees left. Trying to poke a hole in the sun? <laughs> Good morning, Mark. Good morning. Okay. Now, drive this thing right through the center of these trees, almost dead straight. It's kind of like you're trying to pound it hard and straight and just miss the tree on the left. But drive it left. That feeling right there. That's not a weak sister. No, that was better. The club is coming directly on path. It's not making any of these, JD. You know, the club is going directly straight through. It's not going through at angles. And what you'd see if you did watch the tape, you'd see you're staying behind the ball very well. Instead well, that was hit high on the ball, but, you know, that ball will never get you in trouble. I'm not seeing your body drifting and twisting like it was for literally years. Right hand on the club, yeah. left hand relax, drive it left and hit it hard. And the other thing is you've been playing with all those young guys that hit it extremely far. You're going to go out and... Tell me. So now you're going to go out and play with 50 year old men. Right hand on there, yep. drive it, left of the target. How many hooks have you hit today? None. You're on plane, your right hand is coming through impact like this. Soft, slow rotation, none of this roll them and fold them crap. It feels that... blocked through there, I feel this way. 
You do right now? Oh, yeah. Then let's back off the tension of your left arm. Totally. So that means we have too much grip tension in the left hand at address. Go ahead and when let I one. Feel like when, when Ahern and I were working, what I feel like. When I look, when, when you look at the pictures of the exit angle here, and as, as these guys turn through, there's your face. Not there. Okay. Can I tell you another secret? You start to ask me something at breakfast. All I give a flying leap about is how you are at impact. And then, you know, I've never been big on follow through. It's because the ball's gone. You have enough speed here. I just want you to fold up and relax into a nice finish. Left hand relax. Beat the crap out of it. Drive it left. Now see, I, but I'm, I'm here, buddy. Yep. That means tension in the left arm. And so on the way down, you know, make sure you're holding on with the right hand and make a through swing. Hit this one another two or three degrees left. Make your right hand drive the thing left. And let's go ahead and hook two or three. But drive it left. Right hand smack it. Didn't hook, did it? Because there's so much speed on the right hand going through there that it's only allowing it to get back to straight. It doesn't, because there's so many miles per hour there, it doesn't get a chance to rotate 10 or 15 degrees shut. Or the more careful swing would turn over. Yeah, and then to get careful, all of a sudden your hips will rotate, snap a roo, or off in Timbuktu. Then the next swing gets compensated. No compensations here. Drive it left and make this thing hook this time. With the right arm, go. People do wrong. I see what's causing it to go wrong, and it's, what's causing it to go wrong is the left shoulder that feeling there, the left arm. So take a practice swing with just the right arm, get it over and don't let the left shoulder move. Okay. Don't, let the what? don't let the left shoulder move on that practice swing. Keep the right shoulder high and just let the arm come over. You always like shallow divots? That's going to create shallow divots. Yeah. I felt the club face here squared up. Yes. And working through like this. Don't try to hold it on line. Throw it down the line there but left. Now when you got me doing this, I feel flipped. All we're trying to do right now is get the club head on the other side. Get the club head to go over here. I want you to stop right here. You don't want me to go with the club head. You want me to let the I want head the club head to go on the other side by its lonesome. You want the club head to go by me. I don't want to follow through. Hit it and stop. That get hit harder, didn't it? Yeah. And you see how your right foot, without any asking, your right foot stayed more on the ground? Because your left hip didn't rotate up like this or lift up, left shoulder up. You want the set of me going with it, you want me quiet and let the club head go by. Me. Yes. Remember the thing I worked with Shane on that helped him so much? He nailed it with the club head. He got the club head to the other side. Okay. All I'm worried about is about a yard after the ball. Club head, get it over there. Marvelous. Yeah, that's, the best one. that's the best hit today right there. And we're focusing on one thing, getting the club head to go from behind to ahead. Let the club go. Let the club head I'll use that phrase. Let the club head go by you. You don't have to go right. You don't have to go with the ball. You don't want to babysit it when it's 35 years old. Okay. So you want me to feel? You want me to feel this? Yep. Instead of this. You feel the right? See, when you did this, you see where your right arm is totally unextended. Yeah, then you get here, and it's totally extended, which is awesome. So all I want to do is, again, the right arm folds up on the way back. We have to unfold it on the way down. No, you're always in here and your left shoulder, your left shoulder has caused the right one to bury down and hit the fat divots. So now we're looking that's for a way to make you... That's my image because I've been trying to feel like the club head is trailing, which I want it to, but it's got to trail as the arm gets long, it can't trail this one. And my personal opinion is making that club lag behind.